St. Charles contains about 100 or 125 ill-constructed houses. The inhabitants do not till the ground, though it be extremely fertile. The ordinary occupations are hunting and trading with the Indians. A few hire themselves out as rowers. And it would be difficult to find a collection of individuals more ignorant, stupid, ugly, and miserable. General George Victor Collet, 1795. Isn't that a little harsh, George? Well, I'm sure St. Charles has improved in the last 200 years. Yeah, it definitely has. Hi everybody, my name is Doug. I'm standing on a concrete-filled barge in the middle of the Missouri River near St. Charles, Missouri. That's right, me. In October of 2019, I visited St. Charles, Missouri. St. Charles is an old historic town just northwest of St. Louis and only a stone's throw from the Lambert International Airport. My first stop was at the Lewis and Clark Boathouse and Museum. May 21, 1804. Set out from St. Charles at 3 o'clock after getting every matter arranged. William Clark. September 16, 1805. I have been wet and cold in every part as I ever was in my life. Clark. So the museum is basically a recreation of various natural scenes that Lewis and Clark encountered on their journey. There are lots of little dioramas with little villages and figures illustrating some of their journeys. And this random guy with an eye patch. Welcome to the Lewis and Clark Monument at Frontier Park in St. Charles, Missouri. What is the Lewis and Clark Monument, you may ask? Well, it's a large statue of Lewis and Clark. How large? I don't know, but taller than me. So I'm standing flat-footed here. The pooch is actually slightly taller than I am to give you a sense of scale for this statue. I'm directly in front of the first capital of Missouri in St. Charles, Missouri. Brick buildings, brick streets, 1800s. It's awesome. My third stop on my brief trip to St. Charles was the first state capitol building. You see, back in 1821, when Missouri became a state, the current state capitol in Jefferson City wasn't ready to go yet. So St. Charles was chosen to be the interim capital. And for the first five years or so of statehood, uh, the oh, wow. territorial legislature that became the state legislature started meeting in the second floor of this dry goods store in St. Charles. It was a store owned by the Peck Brothers. Sometime around the 1960s, the state bought this building. Sometime after that, it became a state historic site and a group renovated it back to what it would have looked like in the 1820s as much as possible, uh, going down to the original floorboards wherever possible even. The best part was I had a one-on-one -on -one tour just by chance. On this Friday, I was the only person that showed up for this particular tour, which runs about once every hour. And my tour guide, I believe her name was Anne, did a fabulous job, so kudos to her. I got to ask as many questions as I wanted to. Uh, she probably figured out I was kind of a history buff and uh, raised the tour to my level. We talked about some of the bills they passed and those kinds of things. Uh, we talked about the first couple governors of the state. I believe there were five governors in six years or something like that. That was a picture of the first governor. Um, as part of the tour, you also get to go back down to the first floor and see um, there was the shop, I guess you'd say, recreated. You know, if you would have asked me um, so there were some yes, things that you could look over that would simulate items that were for sale back at that time. Uh, as an example, they sold animal skins there, including the skin of a buck which sold for about a dollar, which is how we got the nickname for a dollar of buck. Uh, 
here she is showing off a different animal skin. I don't remember which one. And then this was the living quarters of one of the pet brothers who had a family. And the mom and dad and kids all lived in this one room. So here's the four governors in five years. I guess I was slightly off with my counting. Yo, yo, what's up? I'm in the hood, the hood of St. Charles, Missouri. Okay, it's not really a hood. It's just a cool old historic town. Cobblestone streets. Old brick buildings from the 1800s. Life is good. 